start spring, I have 10 outfits for you today that are fully styled to be, think of it like running errands. So these are kind of everyday, casual, approachable, perhaps even leaning lounge type of outfits, but they're so cute, you're so put together. 10 looks, I always save my favorite till the end. Let's get going. I really love the overall simplicity of this one, really just kind of focusing on the black and white. The pants here are actually by Love & Sports and I did find them in store on clearance, which I was kind of excited about. I'm wearing them in an XXL, which I would say is probably, I'm probably in between an XL and an XXL, but I kind of did like that the XXL was just a little bit more looser, baggy, or comfortable. If you can get your hands on these joggers, they are very nice, they are very thin thick, like they are warm, not fleece lined, but very thick. And I find the love and sports stuff to be nice quality. I've always enjoyed it. Let's talk about pulling in the black and the white. This bag, this is now my third of these bags. It's from Amazon. I do believe that they're overpriced for what they are. However, I love them. Okay, I love them. If you're not new here, you know I love everything checkered. Checkerboard, I'm a Vans girly through and through. I'm sort of sad that checkerboard stuff is so popular right now because that means it's going to be out of style probably and I like probably many of you watching if you're also Vans girlies or just like the pattern have been wearing it for years and now all of a sudden it's just everywhere and you're like Ugh. anyway um, it's nice we can get our hands on it so I like that that's the black and the white and then these jogger I think they call them jogger sneakers they, they have almost a vintagey feel to them like sort of an old athletic shoe they are definitely on the chunky side so do note that they are very comfortable and they do run true to size. They're by no boundaries. They do come in a few different colors, but I love this approach to a black sneaker. I don't have a ton of black sneakers. Usually I wear them with leggings when I do for the, almost that monochromatic look, but I love that these are a black sneaker without being, I don't know, just kind of like too dark and mysterious of a sneaker. You well, I love that there's kind of that mixture of black and white in there. That's oddly specific. Let's talk about the hat. This hat, I can definitely link one from Walmart for you. This is actually an older Walmart hat, but it's kind of that, that swishy material. So it kind of adds to the athletic look. I clearly didn't brush my hair this day, which is why we were wearing a hat. I was running out of, oh, I know. I was going to the nail salon. I was like, no, I was going to the hair salon. That's why, that's specifically why my hair looked bad. Anyway, and then I love putting something like this fitted bustier top. This is by No Boundaries. It is in a size extra large. I went down a size because I wanted it to be a little bit more fitted, but I feel like something like this does really elevate and lift up a very casual, even leaning athletic style outfit. It just kind of makes it a little bit more like, oh, like I tried, especially like, given what my hair looks like. I think I'm not wearing a baggy t-shirt with holes in it or something, right? Although I do wear those. So I, I, I like that about the, the kind of the mixed vibe of this look. These flared, we'll call them leggings, yoga pants, whatever you know, you're Gen Z millennial, okay? I'm obsessed with them, okay? And I don't say that lightly. For me, it's that fabric that I continue to talk about at nauseum. The, the mock necks that are now crew necks, they now have camis and just, it's that ribbed fabric. That is what these are made out of. And I love it. It doesn't pill. It works so nicely through the laundry year after year after year. Some of my mock necks are at least seven years old at this point, and they still look fantastic. It almost is a flattering style fabric. I don't know. I don't get it. I really don't get it. But that's what these are made of, and I am in love. For me, they're the perfect length at five foot six. I also love that they've got the little bit of like lettuce trim at the bottom. I feel like that's just kind of fun. And I have found these to run big. Actually, particularly, this is the case with pretty much all those fabrics because the uh, the fabric that's like that, because they're it's always by no boundaries, but like in the shirts, I'm wearing in a large when typically I'd wear an extra large. So these pants, I originally did pick up a triple XL because in no boundaries, that would be my true size. But when I tell you they were quite literally kind of falling down. So even though I was kind of wearing them around the house and stuff and you want that to be comfortable. It was annoying how much they were falling down. So I got a bunch more because I love them so much and I did go down a size uh, to an XXL. So that is what I would recommend. I'd recommend going down one from your normal no boundaries size.
size for these. And they do come in a few different colors. I've seen them kind of here and there online. I've had the most luck in store, so I would definitely also check in store. I'm wearing them with a pair of Sherpa clogs. I think I actually wore this to my nail appointment. Remember, we were just talking about my hair appointment. Okay. <laughs> this hat is also from Walmart. Time and True still does have a very similar one, even though mine is several years old. My Sherpa clogs are actually from Walmart, Time and True. Uh, however, they're pretty old and I can definitely link something that's comparable for you. This shirt is brand new. I picked this up in my Walmart shop with me. I like that it just says growth. It's got a yin yang sign and I love that it wasn't white. We, <laughs> several videos now, I've talked about how I'm gravitating towards graphic tees that are not white because I have so many white ones and I get very excited. The reason the bottom looks the way it does is I ended up getting this in a size large. I cut the hem off the bottom. I cut slits in the side. That's kind of where I've landed in terms of what to do with graphic tees because they're just never going to fit me the way I want them to. My top and my bottom are on two different continents and it just becomes impossible. As an example, I would need an XXL for something to go around my hips, but I probably love the way the medium fits in my shoulders. So we're trying to blend the two worlds together here. This cardigan I have hauled in the past. If you haven't seen that video, I can definitely link it. It's by Mindy Mays Market. I think it was in one of my what's new in my closet videos. I love this cardigan. Again, I actually love the color. Wearing it with this, you can almost barely tell, but it's the faintest of greens. This shirt is a tan and you can probably see just a little bit of the color change between that and the cardigan. And then I really love this kind of like grandma style crochet bag. I think they literally call it grandma on the website. I'm not saying that. I'm pretty sure they say that. <laughs> Mine is from last year, but I'm from Walmart, no boundaries. And I'm super excited that this year they came out with a very similar one as well. I've actually picked up that one since I took this footage, but it would go with this outfit just perfectly. Oh, pardon the interruption. It is just me, your host, Jen. If you did not know, you are watching my Wow Week series. Wow Week stands for Week of Walmart. I feature a ton of Walmart on this channel, so if that sounds good to you, you probably want to subscribe. I always like to say subscribe if you're awesome or subscribe if you want to be awesome. Yes. On this channel, I help you be your most confident self through through style and fashion. And we are a little bit goofy here. So that is that that is definitely a thing here. And we like to cook a lot of looks in the kitchen. That, that's, that's what we say. We, you know, we be in the kitchen cooking them looks. If this is the first video that you happen upon on Wow Week, it is an entire series. So I will make sure to link up to the rest of the series down below as well as at the end of the video. And if you would like to shop anything in this video, I am going to have all the links in the description box by number down below. Below. And if you don't know how to get to the description box, just click the title of the video, which will open up a box and that will enable you to have access to all of the links. If you do decide to use my links, I cannot thank you enough. That really helps out me and my channel. And I will also put them in a pinned comment below as well. Let me just say that sometimes it do be hard shooting these spring looks when it's freezing cold. That's always how it goes though, right? You're shooting fall looks when you're sweating. Ugh, it just is what it is. Anyway, uh, this one is it's a very kind of offsetting monochromatic with reds and grays or I should say burgundies and grays. So let's start with the leggings. These are by Sofia Vergara and I am wearing them in my true size extra large. To be honest, I feel like I could wear these leggings in a size large. They are so stretchy. They are so comfortable. Buttery soft. So many of you guys love them. They're a favorite for you as well. I have them in all of the colors and let's move on to the top. So this top I am actually wearing in a size large. It's a tunic length top by Time and True. And one of the reasons why I went with a large is because it has a small bit of slit on the side, which to me usually means I can size down. And it's not like it didn't fit, but it's just tighter in my kind of lower gut area, fupa, if you will. I'd almost rather say gut. I know that's pretty weird. Anyway, and I since have gotten this in a couple different colors, but I got the extra large because I just didn't, I wasn't really vibing with how 
this fit. The shoes are impossible to find. These shoes, because they, you know, look like some popular styles that are out right now. So these shoes, I love that they have the burgundy in them and they of course look like a very popular style that we have all seen. These things sold out immediately. So I would say, I mean, hopefully of course they restock them, but it's just going to be hard to find these in stock in general. They sold out within, it felt like minutes, but I was able to get my hands on the maroon pair. I actually also have the green pair, but the maroons in a six and a half and the greens in a seven, my true size is a seven. And I feel like the, the green sevens really kind of flop off my foot. So if you are able to get your hands on these, I would consider going down a half size. And that's for me, even wearing them tied versus untied. You know what I usually normally say about when you're wearing them untied and they are slip ons, they tend to slip off all that. That's disregarding even that. This Sherpa bag and Sherpa hat are both old. They're both from Target. I think I took this footage in, it, it was definitely a cold day. <laughs> Clearly, I know Sherpa is usually not a spring color. And I don't think I mentioned that the time and true tunic shirt is that Hachi style material that we call hacky sack. So it's very, very soft. And then this is a time and true duster that I am wearing in a size large. I love this take on a very casual outfit because it still has some spunk, some glam, some attitude, pizzazz, whatever you want to call it. A lot of this stuff is all new, so I'm excited to chat about it. First of all, this jacket, you are also going to see this in the tan color. I was not sure about this jacket. It's by Scoop, and I know when I was looking at the website, and if you kind of stalk the Walmart website like I do, perhaps you also thought this about the jacket when you first saw it, because it kind kind of looks shiny. It definitely kind of looks shiny. And I would say the tan one looks a little bit more normal than the black one. This fabric is like nothing I have ever experienced. It has almost, it's like if velvet were very lightweight, cause it's a, it is extremely lightweight. If velvet were a rain jacket, like if velvet had slipped to it, it would be this. Or if like a slippery rain jacket and velvet decided to run and have a baby. I feel like it would be this jacket. <laughs> and oddly though, the tan one that we can talk a little bit more about when we get there kind of feels different. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, I'm wearing this in my, I would say one size down from my normal size in a size large. I was actually pleasantly surprised that I could zipper this one in a pinch. It's like a little bit tighter than I want it to aesthetically look zippered. But I really do like jackets like that because if you are, uh, if you happen to be new here, I play around a lot with sizes because again I'm a curvy pair I'm extremely pear shaped and you know we're in two different continents so like anything that I would size to fit my shoulders makes my hips unhappy anything that I size to my hips makes my shoulders unhappy so it's always a challenge and so I love that if I was wearing something like this as a rain jacket because I would say you definitely could wear this as a rain jacket I like that I could zipper it it's possible and if I'm running through the rain I'm not really going to care that it looks like slightly fitted anyway that's probably overkill but I really love how long it is. And I feel like it just kind of gives a slimming effect. And I think you'll see that with the tan one that's coming up later. These pants that are this gorgeous, almost like periwinkle blue purple are by Sofia Vergara. They are the yoga pants, uh, flare leggings, whatever you want to call them. And I'm wearing them in my true size extra large. They're just as soft as the leggings that we just talked about. They feel like butter. I absolutely love them. I feel like in these, I, I definitely like my true size extra large, even though I talked about in the leggings how I feel like I could maybe go down a size. This time and true tunic is exactly the same one that you just saw. Remember how I said I ordered them in a size extra large. This is one where I, I have it in an extra large and that's what you're seeing on me here. This bag is by Madden NYC. It's just fun. It's obviously it's silver kind of patented. It's, a, it's an obnoxiously fun bag in the best way. And then these sparkle flats are also by Madden NYC. And I'm also wearing these in my true size seven. And I just love, I just love the aesthetic. And I have on kind of like shield style aviators that I also got from Walmart. It's funny. I forgot about this look. I, if you're new here, I film all of my looks in advance and it obviously takes a long time to do this many looks, especially for wow week. And then I'm revisiting them when I sit down and do this, a roll that we're doing right here. And I'm like, Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. So we've got an offsetting pink monochromatic, uh, with Kelly green. So the these joggers are by Athletic Works. 
or no, is it a Via? It'll be down in the description box. And I am wearing my true size extra large. I absolutely love these joggers. They are very soft. They they lean a little bit warm. They're not fleece lined, at least not thick fleece lined. There might be a little bit of lining there, but they are definitely warm. I'm looking and you know, these are definitely showing my cellulite. I mean, I've kind of given up on that a little bit. I'll just be totally honest. I always think of it like if I was wearing shorts, my cellulite would be out and I don't think there's any laws preventing me from wearing shorts just because I have cellulite. In fact, I think we should all wear shorts despite our cellulite because I think one of the reasons why we feel self-conscious about it, or at least I do, is I feel like I hardly ever see it. And I think it's because when we have cellulite, we just assume we should cover it and then therefore you never see anyone with cellulite. So therefore it seems like you are weird for having it even though we pretty much know everybody has cellulite. So anyway, Sometimes people are like, oh, you can see your cellulite. I'm like, look, you can see my cellulite if I was wearing shorts. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I, there, I can't do anything about it when I'm wearing shorts. So <laughs> anyway, it is what it is. If I wanted to, obviously I could wear something underneath it to combat that, but this, these are comfortable looks, you know. I like this uh, sweater tank. This is by Free Assembly. I am wearing it in my true size large. It is a little bit on the shorter side. I would prefer if it was, if it was longer. It's not cropped by any means, but it's kind of that normal length. And then when you've got the boob edge in there and all that kind of stuff, it kind of shortens it a little bit. And then I love these gauzy style shirts, linen, gauzy, whatever you want to call it from Time and True. I am wearing this in my true size large. If I wanted to full on button this thing, I would have to wear it in an extra large. Actually, you know what? This one is an extra large because there was one of them that I got and wore and then I was like, ooh, I need a size large. This one is actually a size extra large. I prefer this in a size large. And if you haven't already seen other outfits with this you will in wow week where I do feature it in other colors in a size large what I have realized is I'm never gonna wear this button so it's like why size it to button when I'm never gonna button it that's what I say about everything jackets blazers whatever because otherwise it fits it fits my shoulders a little bit better and I'm not just swimming in it in my upper just to fit my lower that I'm never gonna button anyway if that makes sense this necklace is actually by lucky brand a lot of you guys on Instagram really really love this necklace and it is still available so I will definitely link it. My Kelly Green bag is from Shein. These bags are so popular and I really, really like them because they just provide such a statement, but they're casual. I find, you know, sometimes they can be a little bit hard to get on your shoulder, or stay on your shoulder, I should say. My shoes are by No Boundaries. They run true to size. They're kind of like a turquoisey Kelly Green. And then this hat is, I'm probably not gonna be able to find anything like this, but it is by Urban Outfitters. And I just like that it kind of had all the colors and it kind of brought everything together. We are about halfway through this video, so please give the video a like if you are digging it so far. That really helps out me and my channel. And if this is your first time here and you don't follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, all the places, definitely go ahead and give me a follow because I show lots more looks and outfits on those platforms. I will see you there. Let's keep going with the video. So we've got another pair of Sofia Vergara leggings this time they're in more like a cranberry red. Also wearing them in an extra large. Anytime that you see them, they are in an extra large. I have not ordered a size large yet. I have the same sneakers on that we just saw or that we saw a couple outfits ago. And I decided to try something new to me, which is doubling up my socks. I don't know. Apparently it's a thing now. I had never tried it before, but I, I kind of liked it. I'll be honest, I'm a sock person for sure, meaning that I think socks really add to an outfit. I'm wearing my purse from Pursegate. Tell me down in the comments if you follow me on Instagram and you remember Pursegate from last summer. I would love to hear that. Oh, I'm not say no more. I'm not gonna say anymore. Tell me if you remember Pursegate. Okay. I also have on this red hat from Walmart. I really like the idea of, uh, you know why I did this? This is kind of funny and it just worked out this way. I had just done my hair and sometimes I do a couple looks in one day and I was like, I'm not putting a hat on. I just did my hair, but I really wanted the, the red paired down, you know, again. And so then I just kind of clipped it onto my bag and I would definitely do that IRL as as well, but I just really like that and just always think about that too. Like, let's say you want a scrunchie and your scrunchie's in a certain color, you know, throw it on your wrist. Maybe you wear it, maybe you don't, but even so, when you just look at your overall look aesthetic, you still get the benefit of having that color pared down somewhere else, whether it's on your head, whether it's on your hip, it really doesn't matter. And then in terms of this 
top. This is by Avia and I am wearing it in, I believe it's an XXL. I also got this one on clearance and I absolutely love it. Love gray and tan together. I know I say that all the time. This striped tunic, which is a mock neck is by Time and True. I am wearing it in a size extra large and it does have little pockets on the side, which is kind of cool. Again, the same Sofia Vergara leggings that were from a couple outfits ago. These shoes are by Time and True. They're kind of like a, are they, they're not quite burlappy, but they, they give off that vibe. Um, and they have a little bit of espadrille on the side. I size down a half of the size on these for whatever reason. I feel like the slip on sneakers from Walmart in general always run a half a size big. And then my bag here is from Amazon and I feel like they match the leggings perfectly. And I love that the little bit of gold kind of just adds a little bit of something to the look, dresses it up just ever so slightly. And then these sunglasses are also from Walmart with kind of gold accents, which I sort of love how that ties in together. Not needed, but fun when it happens, you know? I really don't know that this look could be more basic. However, I think it is the color story that really makes it. So fun little fact about this look is I was going to my aunt's house for the night and we were kind of going over for dinner and then to hang out and then we'd be coming home in the morning like so it wasn't an all-day thing or whatever so anyway my point is I wanted to wear something that I, it would be perfect to kind of lounge around in that night and then I could just wear it to bed and then we would drive home in the morning and then obviously I could change and stuff so meaning like I didn't really want to pack this outfit was absolute perfection for that so these are the pants that we saw earlier the ribbed ones by no boundaries with the lettuce trim edging obviously here they're in a very rich foresty style green I love purple and green together I talk about that a fair amount I actually think I featured that in my favorites video from the year if you haven't seen that video of just all of my favorite things from this year including like color combinations and stuff like purple and green I can link that video for you this shirt here is actually a sleep shirt by Joyce but now mind you I don't normally wear it as a sleep shirt arguably I'm not even wearing it here as a sleep shirt I was leaving the house and then this bum bag from Walmart from no boundaries I did get last year but I believe they still have it available and I just love Love the play on the greens there it just it's perfection to me and then obviously we have kind of a white longer tank top that ties in with the white shoes so these are those white floral slip-on sneakers by no boundaries they have kind of a floral embroidery to them again like what I just said about the slip-on sneakers I go down a half a size for whatever reason that just works the best for me and then this shirt these types of tanks are hard to find this one is actually it is by free assembly men's department. I like that it's longer. I feel like you want shirts that are going to go with an outfit like this and kind of layer up a little bit. And this was just perfect for that. So although this is so basic and kind of a weird reason for an outfit. I absolutely loved it. You may have seen a glimpse of this shirt in the Walmart shop with me for wow week. If you haven't seen that video, I definitely can link it. My dream car is a Bronco and you know, fun fact, I am looking into getting a vintage Bronco, like one that is pretty much not drivable and extremely inexpensive because my budget is very inexpensive and then like kind of fixing it up over time. Yeah. Anyway, I love Broncos. So, uh, this is in a size large. It's by Time and True. I am also wearing this waffle jackety shackety by Time and True. I believe this one is in a size medium. And then my necklace here is from Shein. And then if you remember those pink joggers from earlier in a size extra large, this is actually those same joggers, but in a size, uh, in a size teal. If these are in size teal. And as you can see, like it just really depends because they're the same joggers on the whatever size they are, whether they're size pink or size teal uh, how much the cellulite shows because in size teal it doesn't show as much as in size hot pink so anyway the floral shoes that I'm wearing are the exact same as the ones that were just in the last outfit and I love them they have the memory foam at the bottom I've already worn these a ton I think they're a basic white sneaker that are just a little bit elevated so I feel like I'm just gonna get a ton of wear out of them and then I went ahead and did this one without any bags because I have been getting requests from some of you to, hey, can you style some looks that don't have bags to them? And I am obviously happy to do whatever I can when you guys request stuff. So there it is. We have reached my favorite look. I 
love outfits like this that are casual, comfortable, elevated, and I feel like a cute little baddie in this. Baddie is probably not the right word, but I feel cute in this outfit. And it's so basic but comfortable and I just love that about it. So this sweatshirt is by No Boundaries Men's. I believe it's like they're young men's or whatever. Not boys but young men's which I'm assuming is like teen and early 20s or whatever which obviously I am. But I'm teens and early 20s. And it says existence on it clearly. It's in a double XL and I love that it had all that stuff on the back. Of course you can't really see it. I have footage so that you guys can see it. I love how long this is. I absolutely adore how long this is. It works perfect with leggings. These are like a Ponte style legging. They are from Time and True. And I love that they are a split hem legging. I've talked a lot about split hem pants on this channel because I love them. I love that these were a split hem legging. They remind me actually a ton of the Time and True split hem sort of like cropped straight pants that are pull on. They remind me a lot of that, except they obviously are a legging. I remember I really wanted to wear my Sambas with these, which I think is actually okay that I didn't because the Sambas are very taupe in nature in terms of the tan color. And this is a much more of a warmer, kind kind of, you know, goldeny undertone tan. So I think it's actually okay. These are just a old pair of Adidas that I have. I think they're Adidas court shoes, I believe. Can certainly link them for you. They do run true to size. I think one of the things that really makes this outfit is the fact that I am wearing black and white flowered hoops. So they're basically, they're from Shein. They're black hoops with like an actual, you know, fabric flower on them. That's bright white, just like the hoodie. They're black and white, just like the hoodie. And the hoodie has flowers all over it, just like the earrings. I just love that. This is the jacket that we talked about earlier that I have in black. I love this jacket in the tan. I love this jacket so much. I feel like I also want to get the green one. Honestly, I don't love the green one, but I've already worn this a bunch in the black and the tan. And I think it's because for me, my... I don't know if it's because I work from home from my corporate job or whatever. It's just like I don't get out and about a ton, which is why my go to are these kind of elevated lounge style outfits. And because I wear leggings so much and all that, I just love the coverage that this gives and almost like the slimming effect that it gives. Even when I've got on a, in theory, unflattering sweatshirt on underneath this, I just absolutely love it. And then this bag is from Target. This is actually three pieces. Obviously, I bought the, the camera bag that has the checkerboard itself. It comes with just a, I want to say it's black and white or is it tan and white? It comes with a, a different strap, which is which is a great strap. Nothing wrong with the strap. They also sell checkerboard straps and little coin purses, which of course I bought. I actually think it looks really cute with the black and white version of this bag, which I also have. Help. Help! Looking back at the footage, I don't love it as much together. I see what I was going for here. I, I get it. I understand. But it probably would look better with just a different strap on it. But it didn't keep it. it that fact of it did not keep this from being my favorite, my mostest favorite tits, favorite tits. Okay. When I try to use my makeup words, I need to pronounce them correctly. Otherwise it comes off wrong. Yes. It's my mostest favoritist outfit of all. And that didn't keep it from being that. So anyway. Can't wait to hear which one was your favorite. All right, and that is gonna do it. I am so excited to hear down in the comments which one was your favorite item or outfit. So definitely let me know that information before you head out. And also, if this is your first video from the Wow Week series, Week of Walmart, definitely make sure to check out the rest of the series. I'm gonna have my entire Wow Week series playlist as well as my Walmart videos in general playlist linked up here at the end for you. And if you missed out on anything, you can just click right through and watch the next video or catch up on the series. And if you've been watching these live in real time, I cannot thank you enough for watching and hopefully loving the series. And as always, if you made it all the way till the end of this video, I cannot thank you enough. That really helps out me and my channel when you watch all the way to the end. So if you are still here, please let me know that by leaving me a heart emoji or the secret secret video word of size teal. Don't forget to subscribe if you are awesome and click that notification bell so that you can be notified every single time I be in the kitchen cooking them looks and I will see you in the next one. Bye.